panel to discuss this. We now have with us Guido Ravut, he's Secretary General of the European Banking Federation. Mr. Ravut, thank you for joining us today. Um, European Union Morning. leaders were looking for a global bank tax and uh, the G20 hasn't agreed to that. Are you relieved by that? Uh, well, I would say yes and no, um, in the sense that we are not big believers in um, just taxation funding uh, budgets. Uh, we far more prefer something that is linked to resolution or resolution funds. Um, but anyway, what uh, we deplore is that there is indeed a uh, lack of harmonization. We are very much uh, in favor of a level playing field worldwide and we fear that this uh, will not be the case on this particular issue now. Indeed, it does look as if there will not be a level, level playing field and uh, that it will be the German, the French and the English really leading the way with this. Do you worry then that it's going to be particularly difficult for banks within the European Union? Well, it's something that will be added to already the uh, enhanced capital and liquidity requirements. Mm -hmm and it will certainly have a burden on um, the profitability of uh, the banks and, and, and finally at the end of the day the uh, consumer will uh, be confronted with uh, with probably higher prices yes the taxes were they will be in in the end passed on to the consumer presumably um, the president obama was also pushing very hard uh, for banks to hold more capital saying that that would have if banks had been holding more capital in the past uh, there wouldn't have been the banking crisis do you do you agree that holding more capital is the way forward? Well, I, we don't agree that um, saying that this was the cause of, uh, of the crisis. Um, it, it was not a, solven a solvability or a solvency uh, problem, it was more a liquidity problem. So, um, But we accept that there were gaps in the capital requirements framework. Uh, especially uh, with regard to the trading book and the sectorization. Um, but uh, we have some problems with other um, rules now coming up, like um, the leverage uh, ratio. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we think uh, it is more important, um, more, um, uh, uh, you, it is useful to have a more and uh, a better supervision banking supervision and, and in that sense we uh, are pleased that also in the G20 conclusions now it's clearly mentioned that um, there must be an enhanced and strengthened banking supervision by giving the bank supervisors more uh, more tools and more resources. Now what about this idea of stress tests for banks do you think that they should be published? Well, um, we, we agree with that and I think um, at European level and also uh, within Basel it is now uh, certainly in Europe decided to, to do that and uh, we can live with that, yes. And, I think uh, it will uh, give the markets clear signs and um, transparency is needed, so um, yes, we, uh, we can live with that. And finally, what about, uh, what about the smaller banks that aren't currently included? Would it be a good idea to uh, publish stress tests for them as well? Well, I think in the whole um, new regulatory framework, um, we have a lot of concerns about uh, the smaller banks. And um, although they were not um, at the first uh, line, I would say, within the crisis, because they weathered relatively well, uh, well the storm, um, they are now confronted with this um, additional uh, capital and liquidity requirements. Um, asking for more capital and um, well unlike in the US where smaller banks have an easy access to, uh, to capital in Europe it's uh, not so easy for smaller banks to have um, a direct access to the capital markets and so in that sense we, we have uh, a particular concern about um, the smaller uh, banks with regard to the new Basel um, framework. Okay. Guido Rabouet from the uh, European Banking Association, thank you very much indeed.